Oh, hi, shit mates, Captain Cutlass here. And uh, this video is actually for a friend of mine, Tim, if you're watching. This is for you, buddy. Um, who's going to be doing a custom PC and he wants some design ideas. And um, Star Citizen is his looking for inspiration from. So here we are in the self land hangar, Star Citizen. And there in front of me is my constellation. Over to the left you will see my Cutlass Red, which is uh, like a rescue ship. So anyway, uh, Tim, I chose this one first uh, because it's very industrial looking. Um, it's my fish tank. Uh, so I just wanted to show you just around it a little bit so you can see some of the design elements in the hangars. There's my little... We'll just hop in here. My little grey cat. And there we can give you a little tour. As you can see, they love orange in this game. Lots of orange features. Oh, I'm going to get right there, am I? Let's go this way. This this is a very sort of dark and dingy and very industrial hangar. Uh, just to give you an idea of what it is what it is in the game. Not as nice as the Revel in York hangar, which I'll show you as well. <coughs> but to do that, unfortunately I'll have to edit the video together. Anyway, I thought I'd show you this one anyway. That's pretty gross. <laughs> anyway, uh, and this is a ship, this is Constellation. So, um, oh, I fell in love with this one when I, when I first got it. Just the design is just fantastic. So, unfortunately, it's very dark and dingy in this hangar, so maybe leave the ship view until later. And the, this is the P 52 Merlin, which goes with this ship. It actually, when you're going to be travelling through space, it's actually stored in the in the back end of the ship, and it's your little fighter for protection. Um, so that's that. So as you can see, it's all very industrial and big fans up there and stuff in the self land hangar. The usual pipes and things. Okay, I think that's probably enough of this hangar, so I'll just I'll just pause this here and uh, move to the next one. Okay, so here we are in the Aero View hangar, and you'll like this one because there's lots of nice orange detailing, um, which, as a Dutchman, I know you'll like. Pressurized content there. And we open the door to the hangar. Aero view hangars. Get some nice detail there. There's a model. The Mustang. Uh, this thing here is for changing your character, clothing and stuff, but meh, don't want to see that. Uh, oh, let's just see. Oh. I guess that's totally back to front. And here we are in this hangar. I haven't actually seen this hangar very much because um, I normally use my Revel and York hangar. But it's nicely laid out actually. Where's my grey cat? Here we go. Parking zone. Come on, let's get in. Yes, we can. Let's lift. Let's 
Let's get out of this thing, hang on. Okay, well, I didn't even know you could get there. There's my cutlass red. As you can see, it's uh, a lot better lit, this hangar. You can see around. You can get a nice view of the constellation there. Yeah, really quite cool. Some detail, nice detail over there. Well, I'll leave the cut there for now. Such a nice design elements here. Oh, you'll like that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Aero view hangers. Hydraulic flow diagrams. Whatever they are to the right, I'm not sure. But all really nice elements, actually. I think you'll agree. CNC. So, command and control. Oh, now, look at that. Wow. That's cool. Radiation zone, flow, pressurized content, liquid content, pressurization valve. So I guess this is maybe you get to refuel your ship and things from here. I'm assuming. Oh, glass floor. Ooh. Okay. What's this here? System. Like the glass floors here, don't they? Okay. <coughs> yeah, some nice design elements there. Okay. Come on, lift. Ah, oh, very good. Like somebody's th thought long and hard about some of this stuff. It's it really is. Looks like somebody's mopped or a dirty mop there. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look down here at this this element, whatever this is. I'm not sure what this is at all. Some sort of pump. Wow. Now that's actually pretty cool. Let's see. Show his content. System. Is it an interesting flow meter for you? It's like a quadrant cam type arrangement. Not quite sure how that works, but there you go. Obviously, for when you're taking off, I guess, get out through there. There's more of these interesting pumps. Maybe for the doors, I guess. <clears throat> okay, well, that's about it for this hangar, I think. Um, I'll just show you inside the the cutlass red here. And you could probably know why I chose the cutlass because that's my the name I've chosen to use in my games. So here we are inside the cutlass, which is uh, kitted out as a rescue ship. So 
It's like a med, med bay area. It's all very cool. Uh, where's the... Let's open up into the cockpit here. Can we close this? Oh, that just closes that door. Uh, we can open this door here, that which I discovered. Uh, kind of funky. Uh, we can actually walk outside onto the hull of the ship. I'll just show you the view here. Very sort of funky sort of crash bar things on here. This spaceship. Oh, and I've fallen off. Oh well. Thankfully, they provided a very nice shiny ladder to get back up. I really do like this ship actually. I, I, I like the undercarriage. You know, the four the four leg. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back inside. Let's hop in. Oh, we can close the door again. Just touch. And here's a cockpit. Uh, kind of two pilots or a pilot and navigator. I'm not quite sure how this setup's going to be. Let's just hop in here. Seating arrangement shifts into the middle, so that's kind of cool. A little look around. No, I can't do anything here. It's just just to see see the ship itself. As you can see, you know it's very shiny, isn't it? I'll have to keep it clean. Um, can't zoom in any closer than that, unfortunately. But you get the idea. So this is a Drake Interplanetary. It's a nice sort of caroling there on the engine there. Lots of detail going into these models really. You know, they've spent a lot of time, that's probably why there's not so many available, but you know. They've done a they've done a fantastic job, I think, of the hundred odd million that they've been given by fans and supporters of this project. So there you are. That's the Cutlass Red. Lovely looking ship. Now I'll 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 pause this now and uh, I'll show you the other hangar. Okay, welcome back. Here we are in the Revel and York hangar. Uh, this is like a premium hangar and it's it just looks stunning actually. Uh, let's open that door all closed just so you can see. Lovely action there. Uh, so a wood effect on the door there. I love the mechanism. The mechanism is just very cool. So yeah, this is Revel and, Hork <laughs> Revel and York hangar. Uh, totally different to that aero view one you saw. Uh, instead of orange, we've got wood, and uh, very shiny, very clean, very posh looking. Uh, there's my beautiful constellation. You've seen inside. There's the, the cutlass over there. So yeah, this is the Rebel in York hangar, as you can see, very sort of futuristic and very sort of Rolls Royce almost. <laughs> okay, um, I'll just show you quick, quickly inside the constellation. Okay, so this is inside. Um, <clears throat> there's different variants of this one. As you can see, the inside is is, is a bit. I don't know. I don't. I don't. It's okay. I think it needs a bit of work, to be honest. It's very boring and 
complain at the moment, but obviously I think it'll it'll get better. Um, there's not really many design cues in here that I really kind of like. Oh, there's a table. You can sit down at the table. Maybe we could do with some Star Wars chess here. You know, just kind of not quite sure. Looks very dirty inside this ship. I don't know why. <laughs> this one's supposed to be sort of deep exploration, I think. Um, there's the head or the toilet, as some people call it. And now there's the bed. Now it's got to be the smallest bed in existence. Look at it. It's, I mean, imagine how claustrophobic this is. Oh my goodness. And that's me in bed. Get out of here. Not very nice bunk, is it? You get the idea anyway. So that's the bed. And then we go into the cargo hold. So this is a cargo hold area. And that whole section drops down onto the ground. I will I'll show you that one. As the whole cargo bay opens up, we can drop right down. We can actually drive our little grey cat into here, actually. So, not a lot of clearance there, but there's enough. So, you get the idea. Let's close that up. So, that's the cargo bay of the constellation. And then we can head up here and go aft. Quite sure what that's supposed to be. Um, now I haven't been in here much, so as you can see, is a caution: multiple exit supports. Nice little floor design there, uh, and this is where you access the. Um, this is the hatch for where the P52 will be. I'm assuming you, your crew member could climb down, or you can climb down this hatch, access the P-52, and fly away. So obviously you can have multiple crew, so fly with a friend. But you get the idea anyway. This is. I don't think you can open these yet, can you? No. So yeah, it's kind of boring inside, to be honest. To be fair. So let's go back. Side into hangar. Some nice elements. Unfortunately, I don't have the seat, the star fairer anymore. Um, they put it in for free for us to have a look at, but I took it away again. And that's the ship I really wanted to show you because the externals of that are fantastic. Um, anyway, let's give a closer look here. These, these, all these doors open. And there's these fans hidden behind here, but I don't know how to actually open them. The hangar view. I'm not sure if they do open. And that's where the P52 would sit. And there's a ladder, look, there's the access ladder. Yeah. What's that say? Caution. I don't know what that says, just caution. Anyway, you get the idea. So that's the, the Revel in York hangar with my constellation. Side. Uh, you can't, I'll, I'll go and show you that because I did show you in the original video that I deleted actually. I'll go and show you quickly. Let's go up in the lift. Uh, I, yeah, I showed you this earlier. Um, in my other video, but I did, which I'm not going to upload. Um, I just want you to see how this box opens. It's like an equipment stash. There you have some boots and whatever the hell else is in there. I just like the way the the lid opened up and closed. Kind of funky. Uh, there's not much else up here. This is my control room. Here's 
my funky computer. Very nice. Over in New York. Look down and see what's going on. And not much else to see here. anyway and the ships that I have I mean some people have got loads of ships but unfortunately I have not spent that much money um, so I'll just pause this one here and maybe show you a little bit from uh, Port Olisar which is um, where you can actually fly the ships and maybe see some different ones okay bye for now okay this is the VFG industrial hangar which I'm not a great fan of, um, but I just thought it'd be a better for continuity sake. Better show you. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be on some sort of asteroid or something or what. Well, um, let's get a quick look around. There's my old bonsai tree again. As you can see. It's very sort of knackered looking old place. Well, it looks something on a bit of a hydraulic compensator there, I don't know. Looks like a big drill, doesn't it? Um, there's my cutlass down there. Unfortunately, my um, constellation isn't available in this hangar because it's too big. Or something. So just shows you the hangar itself take a walk down here so interesting interesting hangar but there's not an awful lot to see here to be honest it's a bit dull and grey and although I like the lighting, the lighting is actually really nice. Um, some nice elements on the floor there. The usual checker plate as well. That looks quite funky, whatever that is. Yeah, not a lot not a lot to see here mate, so I think we'll we'll leave it there. Nice view of the the cutlass. Anyway, that's the VFG industrial hangar. Okay, this is Port Olliser, and this is you waking up in your little space bunk on the space station. Uh, everything I know about dogfighting, I learned from my fish tank. Interesting book that one. And there's the bed. Danger high voltage, internals are alive. Gemini pistol cartridges. So, yeah, this is poor holster. There's some sort of vending machine for needles, I'm assuming. Fancy looking fire extinguisher there. Easy hab. Poor Olisar. So this is where you get your actual shipment. So now you'll see other players here. And um, this is where you can actually go and fly a ship. Deck 2, which has got nothing on it. And here we go down to the command screen down there. And this is where all the other players go. As you heard the automated voice there, press the screen to continue. So I'll just show you some of the design elements before we go do anything else. Mm. It's a nice bit of orange, you like a bit of orange. Quite 
quite like the the typeface there. I don't know what they call that, but so I'll we'll just actually I'll just show you. I don't know why my computer is a bit slow today. This is, here we are. And there's this is Port Olisar, so this is a massive space station where you can spawn the ships. And here we have a constellation out there already. So this is what's what it'll look like in the game. I mean the the scale is just oh that's just disappeared. The scale is fantastic. It really is. Um you just get that whole you know Oh we can't go out there. Okay. We'll spawn uh, one of my constellation. My Andromeda. So A10, which is over here. Let's go that way. Airlock, keep clear. And there's the airlock door here. So we'll go and push this. We go in. As you can see, plenty of design elements here. What does it say? In the event of grav failure, use latch points on emergency EVA equipment provided. And here we go. And here is my constellation. Which you saw in my hangar earlier, and this is actually my my actual ship. Well, yeah. No, it's not. I don't have an Andromeda. This is actually a different one. <laughs> I'm talking out my backside. Now we should. How do we get into this one? Maybe I should have showed you this ship earlier because it's got nice orange. Let's get into the captain's chair here. Well, I'm, I'm saying it's the captain's chair, I don't actually know. Let's see if she flashes up. Welcome to Dark oh. Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System. Let's go outside for you. Take off before anyone can try and get inside. There's another constellation there. Let's have another, another view there. And you can get very dizzy in these ships. <laughs> yeah, we just spin around a little bit. Collision alert. Port. Right, collision alert. We don't want to collide with the space station. Let's move out a little bit. Okay, right, we're far enough away, I think. Just 
turn it around so you can get a nice view of the station. Let's go back into the cockpit. Radar System critical. Okay, let's get out the chair. Okay, so let's we'll have a quick look around. So now we know that nobody can steal us unless they EVA out to us. Um, let's have a look here. Oh, and here's the. This is the turret. As you can see, we're in now in the gun turret. Unfortunately, you can't. They're, they're locked at the moment because it's. Uh, as you can see, uh, quite. There's the ship there. There's me sitting in the gun turret there. When I press Control F. <coughs> You'll see it disappearing. Right. Going out into the bells of the ship again. Right, let's go. What's in there? I think I just opened the airlock to the outside there. And here's the cargo bay. It's very dark in this one, isn't it? Very dark. Robertson Space Industries. Gravity generator. Power plant module there. Totally different to my ship that I've got. So obviously this one's a bit more polished on the inside. Oh, and there we have the P-52. Now, can I actually use this one? Oh, we can. Okay. I've never done this before. We can't actually fly it though, can we? Doesn't look like it. So we'll just control F out of here. So it's not actually usable right now. Okay. Okay. Anyway, gives you the gives you a good look anyway. And let's just for a laugh, let's open the hatch into space. And now I've EVA'd automatically. Let's go and take a look. Outside the ship. Oh, I, I did open both hatches. Did you see that? I just wonder if you'll be like uh, be able to EVA out and do repairs or something. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? See a load of ships below me. Let's close that hatch. I'll go back in the stern hatch here for the cargo bay. This no oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what happened there. Did I get squashed there? What? Where am I? Oh dear. I guess there's a glitch in the game now. Uh, where on earth am I? Oh my word, my ship is 2,000 kilometers away. How did that happen? And I wonder if somebody stole it. I just know. Uh oh, now I know how George Clooney and Sandra Bullock felt. I'm totally trapped out here. 
Oh well, anyway, I hope you <laughs> enjoyed that. Uh, here's me, Captain Cutlass, your good friend, stuck in space, Abella. We'll see you on the dark side.